Arbitrage betting made me over $50,000 before my accounts got restricted. And in this video, I will share three foolproof methods to find these lucrative arbitrage bets as well with examples and make risk-free money doing so. The three methods are manual searching in the right markets, synthetic arbitrage, and odd scraping software. The best thing about these three methods is that they can be used together as they find different types of arbitrage opportunities, therefore allowing you to maximize your profits by using all of them. If you're not familiar with arbitrage betting, then go watch my video explaining it first and then come back to this one. So the first way to find arbitrage bets is through manual searching. Now you might have tried this method before and had no such luck, which might lead you to think, oh this is a scam, arbitrage bets don't actually exist. Well that's because you don't know where to look. So to find arbitrage bets manually, you need to understand why arbitrage exists. Essentially they're just a form of sportsbooks mispricing. We can think of this as someone accidentally dropping money on the ground, in this case the sports book, and you're out there trying to look for it and pick it up. There are places where it's more likely they would have dropped that money, and similarly there are also going to be places or markets where it's more likely they would make sports book mispricings and arbitrage opportunities would occur. These are rare and they also disappear quickly once someone has found it and taken advantage of it. You probably started looking for arbitrage bets across your popular sports markets like your head-to-heads for soccer games, football games or NBA games, but these would pretty much never have arbitrage opportunities in them. This is because the markets for these sports have a lot of people betting in them, they're very popular and as a result markets are efficient and therefore there's very unlikely to be any bookmaker mispricings and therefore arbitrage opportunities for you to take advantage of. This means you should be looking for arbitrage bets across markets where there's less betting volume. For example, smaller tennis tournaments, second tier division football games, or like college basketball or player markets in the NBA. Sportsbooks will know less and be less confident in their pricing and as such it's more likely you'll be able to find an arbitrage bet. Additionally, one other market that I find a lot of success in arbitrage bets in is in the futures markets. For example, who's going to win the NBA championship or this particular football tournament. A lot of the smaller bookmakers especially might be slow to update their odds after a significant game has happened that will affect the odds of the futures market and therefore give you an opportunity to capitalize on. You also need to know there's going to be certain sports books that just have terrible odds in general, far below what the fair odds should be, and as a result you're very unlikely to be able to find any arbitrage opportunities with them, whereas there's also going to be sports books that have very competitive pricing and they also make mistakes frequently which means you'll find a lot of arbitrage opportunities to bet on. From my experience in Australia, what I found are the most profitable has been sports books like PointsBet and UniBet as these will have lots of different markets, especially the markets with lower betting volume and their pricing is also very good, which means sometimes I can easily find lots of arbitrage opportunities on these platforms and that's reflected in my profit and loss on these bookmakers. With the manual method, you also want to be looking at a betting exchange, which basically gives you the information of what the fair odds for a particular market should be and therefore you'll be able to know if a sportsbook mispricing has occurred. This is much easier than using those online arbitrage calculators which I think actually aren't that useful at all because you need to plug in so many numbers each time just to look for an arbitrage opportunity so it's very very slow and most of the time it's not going to exist so you're just wasting your time away. Using the betting exchange is much easier because you can see straight away if an arbitrage opportunity exists or not. Basically if the bookmaker odds are higher than the exchange lay odds which means to bet against then this means an arbitrage opportunity for that particular bet exists and you can see this straight away you can just use the exchange to hedge away your risk by betting against that team to win for example in the futures market and on the bookmaker you're betting on them to win so they either win or they don't win there's no such thing as a draw in the futures market so this means now you've covered a hundred percent of all the possible outcomes making lay bets on the exchange something that's very useful for covering arbitrage bets across markets where there's more than two possible outcomes. Just make sure the difference between the bookmaker odds and the exchange lay odds is significant enough to cover the commission you're going to be paying on the exchange which is generally 5 to 10 percent. You could also hedge with a bookmaker but in that case you're going to get even worse odds in the exchange generally. Now it's a lot better than just going straight to a few bookmakers you have accounts with, finding some odds and plugging them into an online arbitrage calculator. That's a complete waste of time. This method of manual searching 
thing actually helps you determine where you should be looking, but it is still time consuming and sometimes you still won't find arbitrage opportunities. But the good news is that the arbitrage opportunities you do find are different to the ones you'll find in method two and method three, which finds different arbitrage opportunities that you can also take advantage of. So the second method of getting arbitrage opportunities is what I like to call synthetic arbitrage. This is when you create arbitrage opportunities by using sportsbooks promotions and offers and betting and hedging in such a way that you cannot lose. The simplest form of this type of arbitrage betting is called match betting, which basically just takes advantage of the first deposit offers that sportsbooks give you when you first sign up to them. Sportsbooks might give you things like free bets or bonus bets, which isn't actually money you can withdraw, but you can use that free bet or bonus bet to bet on an event on the bookmaker and then bet against it, like which is hedging on the exchange. And therefore, no matter what happens, you've either turned your free bet into cash you can withdraw or you've won profit from the hedging account, which is the betting exchange. And therefore, you've turned a free bet into cash you can withdraw risk-free. Another example is the ridiculous 101 odd special betting promotion by BetR on the FIFA World Cup 2022, which I used to create a synthetic arbitrage that guaranteed a profit of $170 no matter what happened just from one bet. And you can check out the details of exactly how I did it over on this video where I used the bookmaker promotion and a betting exchange to get mathematically the best possible payout no matter what happens as I don't want to be repeating myself again on this video. How exactly you can create these synthetic arbitrage opportunities really depends on the sportsbook or bookmaker promotions that are offered up in your country and especially for the more complicated promotions it does require a bit more complicated mathematics and probability to mathematically calculate the expected value and hedge in such a way that you can guarantee yourself an arbitrage and get the maximum arbitrage out of it and that will take quite a few hours to explain. So that's what I actually teach in my sports betting courses, link in the description below, which is how to create the biggest synthetic arbitrage opportunity using mathematical principles on the special bookmaker promotions offered in Australia and New Zealand, and also recently the United States and Canada. And this is where I made the majority of my money from sports betting. The third method of finding arbitrage bets is to use odd scraping software to find and bet on pure arbitrage opportunities. This method will help you take advantage of the type of arbitrage bet where you bet across multiple sportsbook accounts. There are many types of arbitrage betting software packages out there and most of these use some odd scraping data tool. Some of these are free and some of these are paid. I will recommend starting off with a free one or a free trial but the main drawback of the ones that are consistently free is that they either restrict the number of bookmakers you can see the odds for, therefore reducing the number of possible arbitrage opportunities that exist, therefore reducing the number of arbitrage opportunities that you can see, or there might be a delay in the feed which means even though an arbitrage opportunity is, exists they might only show it to you 15 minutes later and by that point it's probably already gone. If we go back to our analogy of thinking of an arbitrage bet as someone dropping money on the ground and you wanting to pick it up, then this means the free arbitrage betting software actually reduces your chances as it limits the places where you can look and also means someone else has probably found that money and picked it up before you even had a chance. However, they can still be worth a try, especially if you're just using that free arbitrage betting software to familiarize yourself with how arbitrage betting works. There's also paid arbitrage betting software and odd scrapers, which which has more features like more sports books, more markets, and things like email alerts based on filters you've set, which will alert you immediately to an arbitrage opportunity that's been picked up, allowing you to be the first to capitalize on this opportunity and basically be the one to instantly be alerted whenever someone drops money onto the ground, you can be the first one there and be able to pick it up. Let's take a look at an example using today's video sponsor, OddsJam. OddsJam has the latest odds data across many bookmakers across the United States, Canada, Europe, and now even Australia, which is where I'll be doing the demonstration. So here we're on Odds Jam and we're looking at arbitrage bets. So here we can go to tools, go to arbitrage, and you can refresh for opportunities and you can filter for sports books as well. I won't do all global sports books, I'll just do all the Australian ones and I can say I want to be in the next seven days. Then I can see the best one right now is the New Zealand Warriors versus Sydney Roosters game. So I'll open up both sports books at the same time. So they now I have both tabs open at the same time. I want to find the right bet. So this is Roosters versus Warriors.
so you can see I'm just doing a very small amount as an example, which is $2.45 on each side. I've checked that the odds are correct, 1.245.5, and that matches to what is stated on this. So I make three cents in guaranteed profit. If I bet more money, obviously I could make more. So if I were to do 245, then I make $2.88. If I were to do 600 and 135, I'd make a guaranteed $8.60. $8.60 might not seem like a lot, but it does add up in the long run for just a small amount of effort, which is just pressing some buttons. So that's how you can use the third method of arbitrage betting software or odd scrapers to place bets on pure arbitrage opportunities. As an added bonus, you can get an extended two week free trial of Odds Jam by one using the link in the description below and entering the code SHANE2. If you enjoyed or learned something from this video, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up and then also subscribe to this channel to not miss out on other sports betting tips and tricks. As always, take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.